always thought that the cute and fluffy species like the panda and the tiger get way too much attention. So with the help of the National Science and Engineering Competition, I've launched a global campaign looking for the world's ugliest endangered species. It will become the mascot of the Ugly Animal Preservation Society. I brought together a group of 10 of my friends, each one to champion a different endangered minger, and people were then allowed to vote for the mascot. There's too many people trying to save cute animals. Cute animals get all the press and all the attention, and ugly animals are more deserving than cute animals. But I don't think they are ugly, you see. There, there are, there's beauty in that ugliness. Well, you have voted in your thousands, and now it's time to meet the top five mingers. In at number five, here's Ellie Taylor to tell you more about the amazing proboscis monkey. When you tell people you're trying to support an endangered primate from Borneo, people are always like, oh, is it the orangutan, the cute little orangutan with the eye? No, it's not actually, guys. It's the proboscis monkey. Yeah, because he's from Borneo and he's a primate, so open your minds, yeah? And these guys need our help. They can't compete with the orangutans who are really cute. These guys are really hideous. Right, for starters, this dude's got a massive nose, like, massive, like, Streisand, one above, two above even. It's enormous. Apparently, scientists reckon that the male dudes have the long nose because the lady monkeys are like, oh, sexy nose, man. But I actually think that it's to do with um, quite an awkward situation that happened once with a lip reader. So now what happened is that the monkey grew its nose long. Not a problem anymore. Touche evolution. Touche. Another thing that the proboscis monkey has to deal with is the fact that he has hideous genitals. Arguably, everyone has hideous genitals, but these guys have it real bad. They have bright black ball sacks and a bright red penis. I mean, that's just the, the nature colour of warning, isn't it? Right in your face. Like, don't, don't ever have a monkey's things in your face. That's different. Um, another thing that the monkey has against him is the fact that um, their diet is largely made out of unripe fruit which just makes them really bloated all the time. So they've got massive noses, really ugly willies, and they're full of fart. I mean, come on, that thing needs our help, right? In at four, it's known as the aquatic scrotum, and boy, it is ugly. Here's Izzy Lawrence to tell you more about this endangered frog from South America. Ladies and gentlemen, boat scrotum frog. You heard right, scrotum frog. Even better than it being called scrotum frog, it lives in Lake Titicaca. Of course! It's an amazing animal. Uh, it's called the scrotum frog, or the aquatic scrotum in Latin, because 19th century zoologists thought it looked like a scrotum, because 19th century scrotums were green, covered in skin folds, and about 50 centimetres long. That's a big old frog. OK, you've got to vote the scrotum frog because it's very endangered. It lives in Lake Titicaca, and only Lake Titicaca, where its children get eaten by trout, and the grown-ups get eaten by people. How? In frog frappes. That's right, what goes green-red? A frog in a blender. But it's cute, the people screamed. Here's Helen Arney to tell you why she thinks that the axolotl has got inner ugly. I think the axolotl is too beautiful to be a truly ugly animal, but beauty is only skin deep, and the axolotl has a dark secret on its inside. Because the axolotl never reaches adult maturity, it stays underwater its whole life. It never goes onto land like other salamanders. That means it never truly grows up. It's like Peter Pan or, or Justin Bieber or any character that Zooey Deschanel has ever played in a film. But that's what gives them an incredible superpower. They can regenerate any of their limbs. If an axolotl loses an arm, it can grow it back. If its skull gets crushed, it can recreate it perfectly. And that is why scientists are so interested in them. If we keep the axolotls, we may find out clues about how humans can grow new limbs, how we can prevent ageing. We may even find clues about how cancer works. When we put the kakapo onto our ugly animal shortlist, people from New Zealand were up in arms. The amount of hate mail I got, people saying, the kakapo isn't ugly. Steve Mould thinks that it is. The kakapo encapsulates the fragility of life that evolved in a bubble. The bubble in this case being New Zealand, where the kakapo had no natural predators. It lost its ability to fly, amongst other things, so it's the only flightless parrot now in the world. But of course that bubble's burst, and New Zealand is full of predatory mammals, including humans. But the kakapo hasn't evolved a fear response to these predators. Often the response of the kakapo is curiosity. Who's this, the kakapo would say. Oh, I'm in its mouth. It's a very sad story. 
And the Kakapo is human in a lot of ways. It lives to the age of 95 and it looks human as well. Stephen Fry once described it as looking like an old Victorian gentleman. It's very human looking, but it's not human. And that combination weirdly makes it very ugly indeed. It's the big one, the title that no animal wants. The ugliest animal on the planet and the new mascot for the Ugly Animal Preservation Society. It is the blobfish, the deep sea blancmange. It was voted for by you, and here is Paul Foote to show you his unique insight on this ugly animal. The point is we have a chance now to save the blobfish. Some would describe it as a bit ugly, but I think the sad face of the blobfish belies a, a kind and very wise little brain in there. If you could get inside the brain of the blobfish, uh, you would receive a lot of kind thoughts about your life and very wise words that it would say to you that would help you perhaps in your career choice or maybe in a relationship you're having problems with. Ask the blobfish for guidance. So that's it. The top five ugliest animals in the world as voted by you. But that is not the end of it. That is by no means the end of it. Because all of the animals in our shortlist are endangered and they need your help. You can come see one of our comedy nights as the Ugly Animal Preservation Society tours around the country. Or if you're under 18, perhaps you can come and see one of our Ugly Animal roadshows. All the details are listed on our website, uglyanimalsock.com. But more importantly, if you want to try some active conservation yourselves, go on to the National Science and Engineering Competition website to find out how you can get involved. Thank <laughs> you.